Welcome again, this is John, and I have a domestic uh, 69 high speed. I got a new motor from a gentleman online that contacted me. Uh, the motor that I had was missing a brush, so uh, there was no way for me to see how this thing would run. So somebody contacted me and said that he had a motor and a few extra pieces, such as the, uh, the bobbin winder here. Uh, mine was missing this this part, uh, the main part of the bobbin winder, the actual bobbin winder was missing on mine. And so now I have a functioning bobbin winder also. But anyway, I'm going to take this uh, Craftsman dial indicator, speed indicator they call it, and this is what it looks like. It's got a, uh, it's got various tips that you can stick on the end. So I have this little rubber cone thing here. And we set that to zero, put it on the shaft, and then I will run it for, oh, I'll do it for 15 seconds to see what we're doing here. Two, one, zero. Well, that didn't work very well. Okay, so when we finish timing our 10 seconds, um, the dial had rotated one complete turn plus another 15 marks. So that's 115 uh, revolution per minute. So 115 times 6, that's 90, 690 RPM. So roughly 700 RPM uh, before I've oiled this uh, sewing machine up. So after I oil it, I will uh, use this thing again and see how much better it is. Alright, I've oiled this thing up. It was actually not very uh, dry, so probably won't see a vast improvement in the speed. But uh, we'll give it a try here. So we'll start in 3, 2, 1, go. gone to 122 per minute, well per 15, 10 seconds, sorry. So 122 in 10 seconds, 122, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 132, so 732 revolutions per minute. So it was 690 before, went to 730, sped up a little bit, but not a whole lot. When they're dry, they, uh, there's a dramatic improvement when, they get, uh, when the machine gets oiled. But uh, this one was uh, kept up pretty good. So here we go. This is through three layers of denim. I guess I have the stitch length really small, but it uh, seems to have worked just fine. Let's uh, lengthen the stitch length here all the way to the maximum here. And give it another pass. This is kind of a stretchy denim too, so it may not be the best thing to try this out on. This is quite an old machine. It's got uh, patent dates on here, 1918 and 1919. So it's, uh, it's almost 100 years old. And uh, I don't know if you can probably can't see the stitch very well, but 
it seems to be doing a, a very nice job. I see the balance is off. It's a little tight on the bottom tension, so I could tighten up the upper tension a little bit. But this is a very basic machine. Uh, it's got controls very similar to uh, a Singer of the same era. Uh, forward reverse lever here. Bob and winder. This is actually a, a leather belt on here too. This is the uh, upper thread tension and it threads pretty much like any sewing machine. goes through a little tension disc here down through the main tension discs. Uh, catches on the check spring. goes up to the take up bar and then down in through the needle. And this is an end loading bobbin. So that means the hook is on the back side, which is that side. So the needle is threaded from left to right. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.